I feel lonely and um, life's obviously not as happy without Madeline. Um, but, you know, I still have hope. We still have hope. Um, Definitely. Yeah, there's still, she's out there. We believe that. I just feel anxious that she's out there and she's not with us. Estamos aquí para hablar de Madeline, por supuesto, pero yo les quería preguntar por sus otros dos hijos. ¿Cómo están Amelie y Son? ¿Se mantienen al margen de este drama? ¿Preguntan por Madeline? I mean, they, they do ask about Madeline, and Madeline was very much a big part of their life. Um, and they ask where she is. They're not upset, they're not distressed, but they're obviously very aware that she's not there, especially being home. Um, and I guess it, it's hard for us as parents to imagine um, the fun they'd be having together, the three of them, if Madeline was there. Um, I think the hardest thing for me is when they they say things to us like, when is Madeline coming back home? And, you know, we have to say that we don't know, but everyone's looking for her. Yeah, we say that, and now, and now they um, say things like, we're looking for her, and we're finding Madeline. And things and then um, I mean Emily said the other day she just said um, it wasn't to me actually it was to my friend she just said Madeline's coming home to my lovely house and I'm going to share my toys with her. Yo sé que son eh, comparecencias siempre muy difíciles para ustedes. ¿Por qué ahora después de varios meses eh, sin hablar a los medios han decidido romper el silencio? I mean, there's a couple of reasons why we haven't spoken. Um, there's obviously quite a lot that we haven't been able to, to speak about in the last couple of months uh, with circumstances. Um, if I'm honest, I've been a little bit um, disheartened, disillusioned with the media coverage. And I think now, I mean, you mentioned it's six months and it's, it's a long time to be without Madeline. And we believe she's out there and we just want to appeal again once more to, to the people of Spain, Portugal and North Africa to help us really and that's why we've got a new central phone number that people can ring. Um, ¿Mantienen hoy todavía la esperanza? ¿Creen de verdad que Madeline sigue viva? I do, maybe even more so. I strongly believe that Madeline is out there. Um, I think she's probably in someone's house. I don't know why. Um, and I, I suppose it's a feeling, but I feel, as Madeline's mummy, I feel in my heart really that she's there. And I don't, I don't believe Madeline has been taken away from us permanently. I don't believe her. I don't feel it. I don't know who would harm her. I don't think anybody could harm someone as beautiful as Madeline, and I don't say beautiful as in her appearance, I mean beautiful as she is a beautiful little person, and I don't think anybody would harm her. Permítame que les eh, transporte ahora al pasado, a ese día fatídico, al 3 de mayo. ¿Qué es lo último que recuerdan de Madeline? Just a happy little girl. A beautiful, happy little girl. Yes. Think of all the times, the nice times that we've had in our house and her in playing in the playroom with her, with her, the twins. ¿Creen ustedes que necesitan todavía más la ayuda de, desde España? Definitely. I mean, I think, you know, the public can help so much. I think if people know something, if they can um, just, I guess, search the heart, really, Somebody knows something, and they might not realise it, they might just suspect something. But every, everybody can make a difference to this. It's not about us, we miss her like crazy, but this is Madeline, this is a four-year-old girl. We haven't even seen her since she's been four. You know, Madeline's there, and she needs our help. She needs to be with her family, you know. As, uh, as parents, we just were asking, as parents, for people to try and reunite an innocent four-year-old girl with her parents. 
Ustedes han sido considerados sospechosos por la policía portuguesa, pero hay muchos investigadores, sobre todo aquí en el Reino Unido, que mantienen eh, su inocencia. Sin embargo, yo les quería preguntar por sus amigos, por esos siete amigos que estuvieron con ustedes en el Algarve. ¿Confían plenamente en ellos? 100%. 100%. Of our friends, yes. Absolutely. And, but, you know, the same way that we will be eliminated, they will as well. No doubt in my mind about that. We are much more optimistic about what Mr. Ribeiro, the National Director, and Mr. Rebello are saying, that all lines of inquiry are open. And we know, because of our, we know we are innocent, we know that she was taken. ¿Cómo es posible que dos meses después, casi, de que fueran declarados sospechosos, todavía no se haya presentado ninguna prueba definitiva ni determinante ni hayan sido oficialmente imputados? ¿Qué es lo que sienten? No podemos hablar en detalle sobre el estado de Arguido, pero la manera que yo entiendo es que el estado de Arguido es para dar a defender sus derechos. Así que si la policía quiere preguntar preguntas difíciles, tienen que hacer el Arguido. So that, that in itself isn't a problem. We have not been charged with anything. The investigation continues and we will be eliminated. And the key thing is, Madeline is out there. And everyone... Mm, and as traumatic as it's been, it's secondary. It really is secondary. I'll take anything that's thrown at me, but number one is getting my daughter back, without doubt. Se consideran en parte eh, condenados ya en un juicio paralelo por la opinión pública o por una proporción importante de la opinión pública y por también una parte de los medios. I think it's hard um, if people are reading every day that someone has done something or is guilty of something. It's hard to ignore it. But you know, we've always said, always said that you know we will wait for the facts and and to look at what the, the official statements are saying. And that that scenario hasn't changed. Um, I don't know how some of the things have been published. Uh, and we've asked for responsible reporting, um, and we still ask for that. But the key thing for us is finding out where Madeline is. Hay mucha gente en España que se pregunta si unos padres que son injustamente acusados de la desaparición de su hija no deberían reaccionar de una forma más airada, no tan fría. After being made a guido. Mm -hmm. You know, we know the truth. I know I'm innocent, Jerry knows he's innocent, we know each other are innocent. And that to me, it, it was actually quite calming, because I thought, we're innocent, we're totally innocent. And we know that. And I think as well that you've got to remember it was, um, it was over four months since Madeline disappeared. And nothing, nothing that's happened to us in this time right. has come close to upsetting us the way we felt when we discovered Madeline missing. Ustedes quieren dejar hoy aquí muy claro que van a seguir buscando a Madeline, que creen que puede estar en España y que necesitan ayuda de los españoles. Pero mientras tanto continúa la investigación policial y se espera que se hagan públicas unas pruebas de ADN que les podrían incriminar. ¿Cómo esperan? ¿Cómo viven esa espera? ¿Con miedo, con inquietud, con esperanza? Well, they're not going to show anything to implicate us, so I'm not... You know, I'm not concerned, if I'm honest. We're certainly not scared. You know, if there is anything in the DNA results, and we don't know them, and we, we cannot know them, and I don't believe anyone in the press knows them either, but there is nothing in those DNA tests related to Kate and I that will show anything other than completely innocent. Um, whether that is enough to eliminate us, I don't know, but we will be eliminated. I'm confident of that because we have done nothing. Hay mucha gente que piensa que ustedes eh, son inocentes, hay gente que sigue queriendo ayudarles y sobre todo hay mucha gente que independientemente de lo que piensen de ustedes, quieren que Madeleine aparezca viva. ¿Qué les diría a esa gente? ¿Qué mensaje les transmitiría a los españoles ahora mismo? Please, if you know any information at all, or you suspect anything, no matter how small, please, you know, just find it in yourself, really. Have that courage to make that call to the new number and help us bring Madeline home. Jerry, I 
también mucha gente que considera que quizás ya habría llegado el momento después de estos meses de mantener la esperanza y seguir la búsqueda, pero desde un ámbito un poquito más privado. Todo este entorno eh, mediático de asesores que tiene, ¿no les perjudica? I don't think so. Uh, that it is bad. We, you know, she's been missing for almost six months now, and y the longer that goes on, the more um, high risk or aggressive the strategy for us is. We have waited and been incredibly patient. Clearly, the media attention has never gone away. Yeah. It's never gone away. We haven't spoken for long, and you know, and, day uh, after day, Madeline's in the paper. Permítame que ahora ya en los minutos finales de la entrevista les haga algunas preguntas sobre algunas cuestiones de, de aquella noche, de la noche del 3 de mayo. ¿Qué es lo último que recuerdan de Madeleine ese día? Es un poco como lo que he mencionado antes, ella estaba muy feliz y muy amable. Y, sabes, sé que Madeleine estaba muy feliz con su vida. Usted, Kate, estuvo, fue la última que la vio, ¿verdad? Porque Jerry estaba jugando a tenis, creo, ¿no es así? Mm. I saw, I saw it and um, I thought how beautiful she was and how lucky I was to be father of three children. Hay una teoría que se extendió en la prensa y es que pudo haber sido un accidente por una sedación de los niños. Ustedes han negado reiteradas veces que jamás dieran calmantes, son médicos los dos, jamás dieran calmantes a sus hijos para dormirles. And it's outrageous. Well, I'm going to say is I'm Madeline's mummy. I know she was taken from that apartment, and she's out there. And I want her back. I mean, that that is all. I mean, everything else. I'm sorry, is, is rubbish. Siguen hoy ustedes dos igual de unidos en el terreno personal, igual de unidos que antes de la desaparición de Madeline, o más unidos todavía. What do you think? <laughs> Very close. We're completely together in this, and we're united in the search for Madeline. Her, her daughter. Desde aquel día, en todo este tiempo, casi seis meses, ¿hay algo de lo que ustedes se arrepientan? ¿Algo que crean que no hicieron bien? No, from the minute we found her gone. Pues muchísimas gracias por haber hablado con nosotros para Antena 3 Televisión. Y lo que sí les podemos asegurar es que desde España hay millones de personas que desean con mucha fuerza que Madeleine. Eh, vuela con ustedes y siga viva.